Hey guys, everyone here, and today I'm just going to talk about the Lone Swords of Forged Fire. Lone Swords are developed to keep away from the distance, and yet I'm just going to tell you about the Forged Fire. Next, first up would be a Scarlet Flame War. So, Scarlet Flame War is a weapon, is a one iconic long sword in history. Named for Clean War is a great sword, it's basically what it is. But they use it by William Wallace and they keep using it in the battlefield. Next, the Generating Sword is a Supply Hander. A Swine Hander is the same size as a Claymore and then used by a future Roman Emperor. And that means that they use it and it helped the power of the race power in the 15th century. And then you don't use my small guys and use it in the battlefield, the large warriors in the battlefield. Next up would be the Kabil Flisa. So Kabil Flisa is a weapon by used by Egypt and then sometimes uh, you know, sometimes they, I don't know, they, they do, they did do, they do chop their, they do slice their heads because, because of the animals. A Kabil Flisa, I mean, it used to have an animal pummel. That means they did use by decoration. Next, the last but not next would, would be an Indian hand to a, a German Nazian sword. So a German Nazian sword, so it's similar to the spy hand and Scottish anymore. So Scott, so that means they have news of a guard, a large guard. That means they have extreme force. Last but not least would be Indian two-handed sword. So Indian two-handed sword has the uh, untipped blade and the for not for thrusting. Thrusting. Then they, they have a, they have a, each one they have a guard of a sphere. That means that you have space for your hand. And there you have it guys, there's some of my favorite, there's some long swords and fortune fire. Wanna ask me some questions? Leave it in the comments, I'll give it in future videos. But make sure to subscribe. If I have a lot of subscribers by three days in this video, we're automatically to do an epic video. Subscribe now because time's running out. I'm super excited for it. And guys, I'll see you guys in after school. I'll see you guys in after school guys. Hey guys, I'm Aaron here. I'm back from school and today I'm just going to show you all the weapon news in the battlefield. Sometimes they, use, they have a, one weapon and one is shield on the left and the other weapons. So I'm just going to tell you everything in forge, all the weapons used by one hand in forge and fire. First off would be a Viking Warhammer. So a Viking Warhammer used by a Viking Warrior Society. But they have a hammer to crush deep into the enemy's armor, in, including your skull. And spike crush deeply to the armor and also sometimes some vikings have a shield on the left and then the viking on the, then the one hammer on the right that means they, they have to block it and then they, they can hook they can, they can break you can just hit one of them the next the next one would be is a horseman's axe so horseman's axe they is a feature they see they sometimes they feature the gun barrel in the 17th century but they and then, and also sometimes, and sometimes they use some shield on the left and the horseman's axe to the right, and that means they block it, and then they have a spike, you swing that way, or other way, like that, yeah, other way. Next would be it's a sika, so a sika is a gladiator's weapon, but it have a seat bend it, so it can it can't stab. So so sometimes sika sika's on the right, and see left. And then, and then the seeker's on the right and the shield on the left. So that means they block it and that and that means they reach over the each reach over. Next would be is the let me think. Oh yeah, Zul Iqua. So the Zul Iqua is a short spear. It's not throwing, it's just slashing and thrusting. And that means sometimes uh, African people use a shield on the left and Zul and Iqua on the right. And that means they, they block it, and they block the bullet, and then they, they stab through, they just step away. And they have a pummel sometimes, that I mean, that can allow the flying off from, and sometimes, sometimes equal is used for throwing weapons. Next, last but not least, when, with too many weapons, would be, I'm doing, I don't know, let me think of a weapon. Hmm. I think would be I'm not sure. Uh it's so hard. 
Oh yeah, a portage. Some a portage is a giant axe and, and used and used by heavy musketeers. But remember, in the battlefield, you must carry this and a 60 ton musket. Don't really slow you down. A light, fast, and cold history in the battlefield. And, and also, sometimes a partition around the right and right, you know, a shield on it. And that means that you go block it sometimes. And then you use the partition to chop the, the opponents. And they have it. There's some of the news of the battle. And use it with uh, just one hand sometimes to poison fire. Want to ask me some questions? Leave me in the comments. I'll get them in future videos. But make sure to subscribe. If I have a lot of subscribers, by two by three days in this video, what I'm gonna need to do is epic video. Subscribe now because it's coming it's coming out really soon. Really, really soon. But I'll see you later. Hey dudes.